from Someca. In this video, we are going to look at in the state sitemap generator. I want to show you how to create your own sitemap easily with your own data. You will see that this ready to use template will save you a lot of time. Let me show you what I mean, but before that, if you need to get some help from the page, you can follow our instructions by clicking turn on here or use without instructions by clicking turn on. As you can see here, first section is heat map. After finishing your arrangements on the page, you can visually display your data here. Second part consists of your data. We have placed population data of the India states and the abbreviations of them just as an example. You can change it according to your need. Also, you can type your title here as manually. Lastly, in the settings section, it's all about your heat map appearance. Let's dive into each of them. We have defined five color densities to here. These colors indicate your value limitations. For example, when some data falls into the first range, it will be painted first color from the palette. But if you would like to see different color on the heat map, select one of the cells, go to home section, and change it from this box. This table for your value limit. State's color density will be painted according to these limitations. In color and legend part, you can change the color of background and the state borders. Also, if you do not obtain any data for some states or when the data is not range of the limitation, you can paint them gray or whatever you want. About legend display, you can show or hide the legend information on the heat map as you want. You can change it from this drop down. Lastly, in the text setting section, it's all about showing the names of the states on the heat map or not. When you click no text, you won't see anything on the heat map, just the color. When you select state names, the heat maps display state names to you. When you click display text, you will get your text part on the heat map. For example, use abbreviations of the states. If I choose this option, I'm going to go in it and see the abbreviations of India states. And lastly, in text size part, you can arrange your text size. Let's just go a little practice here by putting together. I will open up Ender Excel workbook that I have been working on. It's a list of India states GDP rates of 2016. Actually, I found this data online and sorted them alphabetically. Now, I will copy off them and test here as a value to prevent any confusion about my data. And after putting my data, I should find my value limit. But before that, I'm just gonna go my own sheet again, because I calculated my minimum and maximum values here before to define limitation according to this data. Again, I will copy off them and test here as a value again. After that, I will come here and customize a little bit. Let's select red one and select black border color and I will use the abbreviations of the state. Now, in this. Here, the last view of the heat map. As you see here, the new heat map is colored according to my current values. It show me abbreviations and the borders are black as I do. In addition to this, you have a button here that says export as a PDF. And when I click on that, it takes me to the page where I can print the final view of the heat map for my reports or slides. Like this. Lastly, you can make some customization on the heat map also. All the state shapes are editable, but before, all I need to do is go to Review section, Unprotect shape. You will be warned like this. Write here your password. About password, you will receive via email after download process. Now, I can move site, resize it as you wish, and color blue for example. And that's all. You can create your own data in the estate's heat map easily within a few minutes. For our other geographical heat map generators, you should check our Someco website. Thanks for watching.